Hey guys. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Guru. Hope you all are fine. As you know that in the previous video we have discussed about types of errors in leveling. Today our topic is what is surveying in civil engineering. So move towards our today's topic. Surveying. Surveying is the technique of determining the relative position of different features on, above or beneath the surface of the earth, by means of direct or indirect measurements, and finally representing them on a sheet of paper known as plan or map. Surveying also includes the technique of establishing points by predetermined angular and linear measurements from the plans, sections, and maps prepared by surveying. The area and volume of a particular plot of land can be calculated. A map represents the horizontal projection of the area surveyed and not the actual area. But the vertical distance can be represented more correctly by drawing sections during a survey. Surveyors use various tools to do their job successfully and accurately, such as total stations, GPS receivers, prisms, 3D scanners, radio communicators, digital levels, dumpy level and surveying software etc. Importance of surveying. The knowledge of surveying is advantageous. In many phases of engineering, surveying is of vital importance in any engineering project. Some of the basic importance of surveying is discussed below. The first necessity in surveying is to prepare a plan and a section of an area to be covered by the project. From these prepared maps and sections the best possible alignment, amount of earthwork and other necessary details, depending upon the nature of the project can be calculated. The planning and design of all civil engineering projects, such as railways, highways, tunneling, irrigation, dams, reservoirs, waterworks, sewerage works, airfields, ports, massive buildings, etc. are based upon surveying measurements. During execution of the project, of any magnitude is constructed along the lines and points established by surveying. The measurement of land and the fixation of its boundaries cannot be done without surveying. The economic feasibility of the engineering feasibility of a project cannot be properly ascertained without undertaking a survey work. The execution of hydrographic and a scenographic charting and mapping requires Surveying is used to prepare a topographic map of a land surface of the earth. Categories of surveying. There are different categories of surveying as shown below. Geodetic surveying. Cadastral surveying. Topographical surveying. Photogrammetry. Aerial surveying. LIDAR. Aerial surveying. Geodetic surveying. Geodetic surveying is that branch of survey which deals with areas so extensive that it is necessary to take into consideration the true shape and dimensions of the earth. Its primary object is not to determine the exact figure of the Earth, but to establish a very precise and rigid control for coordination of all other surveys. This point is often overlooked, and the scientific aspect is sometimes stressed, to the detriment of the more practical side. It is true that the Earth's dimensions must be known to enable the exact computation of positions, but it is also evident that before these dimensions can be determined, it is necessary to carry out the geodetic trigonometrical survey. Actually the position is that geodetic surveys are carried out, firstly, to establish rigid coordination of all surveys, basing the computations on a previously known value of the Earth's dimensions, and secondly, as the survey extends or is completed, further data becomes available for a check on the figure used, or, if necessary, for the calculation of another figure to fit more closely the territory being surveyed. Cadastral surveying. Cadastral surveying is the discipline of land surveying that relates to the laws of land ownership, and the definition of property boundaries. It involves interpreting and advising on boundary locations, on the status of land ownership, and on the rights, restrictions, and interests in property, as well as the recording of such information, for use on plans, maps, etc. It also involves the physical delineation of property boundaries, and determination of dimensions, areas and certain rights associated with properties, whether they are on land, Water are defined by natural or artificial features. Topographical surveying. A topographic or topographical land survey shows the height, depth, size, and location of any man-made or natural features on a given parcel of land, as well as the changes or contours in elevation throughout the parcel. While boundary surveys focus on horizontal measurements, topographic surveys are about elevation. Photogrammetry. Aerial surveying. Also known as photogrammetry is a method used to survey land that would be impossible or impractical to survey on the ground. In recent decades, advancements in GPS tracking and photoimaging technology have allowed this practice to flourish. To successfully complete an aerial survey, 
surveyors will need a thorough understanding of the process and a full complement of essential equipment, LIDAR, aerial laser surveying, also referred to as LIDAR, light detection and ranging, is a technology aimed at the acquisition of 3D point group data, X, Y, and Z. Its main purpose is the creation of digital surface models, DSM, flying height, and LIDAR instrument, determine the point density of all measurements, fundamental techniques used for surveying. There are various techniques used for surveying given below, triangulation, trilateration, traverse, leveling. Triangulation, triangulation, is the surveying technique, in which unknown distances between stations, may be determined by trigometric applications, of a triangle or triangles, in triangulation, one side caved the baseline, and at least two interior angles of, the triangle must be measured. Trilateration, trilateration, method of surveying, in which the lengths of the sides, of a triangle are measured, usually by electronic means, and, from this information, angles are computed, except that only lines are measured, while all angles are computed. The field procedures for trilateration are like those for triangulation. Traverse, traversing, is that type of survey, in which a number of connected survey lines form the framework and the directions and lengths of the survey lines are measured with the help of an angle measuring instrument and taper chain respectively. Leveling, leveling is a process to determine the vertical position of different points below, on, or above the ground, in surveying operations, vertical elevations, and vertical control, are generally derived independently of horizontal control. If you guys enjoyed our today's video, then like, comment and share our today's video and subscribe our channel Civil Engineering Guru and support our channel to grow more. Thank you. Bye.